my buddy Russ and I set out on a five-day road trip to explore some of Nevada's ghost towns. We went up the eastern part of the state this time, ended up in Jarbidge, which is as far north as you can go in Nevada. As a matter of fact, we actually went up into Idaho before dropping back into Jarbidge. Driving back through the Jarbidge wilderness area was really amazing with the fall colors, just beautiful. Then we continued back down through the beautiful uh, Ruby Valley, ending up in Eureka for the night. After a good meal and a good night's sleep, we set out early the next morning for Belmont Mill, which had been on my bucket list for a long time. But cruising down this dirt road to Belmont Mill, we came across this beautiful band of, of black Mustangs sit, sitting up on this ridge to the right of us. They managed to stay stay there and, and pose for us for quite a while. Then further down the road, we encountered another band of Mustangs. You know, but Russ and I are always really thrilled to come across these wild horses. They are just so beautiful out in nature. Approaching Belmont Mill, we were immediately taken back by the size of this old mill, sitting there nestled amongst these pinyon pines and junipers, just a beautiful setting. You know, we had traveled through so many old mining towns where there's just nothing left but the foundations. This is actually a perfect example of a turn-of-the-century mining camp. In 1926, the Tonopah Belmont Development Company built this 75-ton Belmont Mill. Later that year, the mill was increased to 100 tons, and they were processing silver and lead ore. They also made a 2,200-foot aerial tramway, which connected the mine to the mill. Then in 1929, the TBDC ceased working for themselves in favor of just leasing the property out to other people. The mill was used again until about 1931 when it was closed again due to the Great Depression. The property was sold in 1940 and the new owners continued to produce silver and lead ore all the way into World War II before closing. And the operations began again in 1949, uh, and that lasted until about 1967 when the mill closed for the last time. Belmont Mill is in White Pine County. It's not to be confused with Belmont, which is located in, in uh, Nye County and another great place to visit. 